Uh, my name is Thibaut Giblin. I'm French. I'm 32 and I work in the MCC for one year. The European dimension of how I see the world, the function of my nation, France. Uh, and it started a very long time ago when I was Boy Scout. I think that even this influence that oriented me for an Erasmus semester in Germany when I was a teacher in history, and after I had another semester here in Budapest. It was 10 years ago, and this is how I discovered Hungary. And for me, how, I mean, the difference, the singularity of Hungary uh, interested me a lot, to the point that it was not Western Europe, as we, we know this uh, sociological and economical reality as a French, uh, it was for me very exciting. I had the opportunity as well to continue this European uh, commitment, working at the European Parliament, and I had an A on uh, Hungarian politics at that time as well, because there was an increasing power of Hungarian politics at the European level. Otherwise, I'm really keen on literature. And I have this specific link with other European countries that I necessarily get informed about the literature of that country. And this is true as well for the Hungarian poetry, so Andreaj uh, and others. And this is maybe um, why I'm more interested on the, the long-term history uh, that I'm focused on the identity of the people, the deeply rooted into the history and the spiritual life. I think this is one of my main influence. Otherwise, history is of course one of my passion, and this mix between the European dimension of identity and history led me to these political sciences. And now I'm working on a PhD on political sciences about the singularity of the Hungarian contemporary politics. And I decided to come back because there was a European election in 2014. And so I decided to, to work a lot for, for, for a member of European Parliament during a few years. And this is precisely during that time that there was uh, in the European Parliament a lot of uh, debates about the situation in Hungary. And moreover, the, the, the mainstream media in France already decided before the election in 2018 that um, the, the Fidesz will lose. And this uh, re-election was a huge surprise. So uh, I think it was a necessity to explain to, to French why there is some different political reality here and why there is some different uh, electoral outcomes. And I decided to come in Hungary in 2018 to write a book about what's happened here, because what was the astonishment for me is how bad the French media could understood the reality that shaped Hungary today. The subtitle of this book is uh, The Resurgence of Central Europe, but the title itself, uh, Why Orbán's Victor Plays and Wins, uh, finally, of course, was much more um, easy to remember. We now only know the book under that name, and in Hungarian it will be translated under the name uh, Orbán Viktor Adios Elemre Jacek. After this time in Hungary, I get back to France. I was a teacher in a high school and I read the book. And I decided to continue this research that I started for writing this essay through a PhD. And so I started this PhD in France, in the University Paris-Est Créteil. And I established a co-supervision with the Pazmain Peter University here in Budapest. I had the opportunity to start my research here to work with uh, Matej Botos, professor at Pazman Peter University. And uh, he advised me to uh, uh, contact MCC uh, because I could have here the perfect situation to improve my research and to improve my, my knowledge about Central Europe. Here, one of the fundamental aspects is that MCC is at the crossroads of uh, academic and politic level. And so uh, to enrich my vision about Hungarian politics, it's needed to have this uh, easy connection with politics and to have this more neutral view that the academia could provide. And I think that this balance is quite interesting. Moreover, in the MCC, I have the chance to learn Hungarian and to be independent for my research, uh, being independent in Hungarian, it is something very important. And so I'm very grateful that I have this opportunity we had a lecture here uh, in the MCC Budapest, but as well uh, in the different city 
where there is a regional center of MCC. So in Dior, in Debrecen, in Segen, in Mishkolz. Um, and we, we had this opportunity to exchange with not only the, the student of the capital city, but as well uh, this regional center where people are extremely committed to what's happened um, in, in Brussels and in Paris, because precisely for them this is something almost exotic. Um, and this, this was a chance to, uh, to have as well this different mindset maybe that this uh, student uh, in the um, other uh, center of MCC could offer. I need to feel the Hungarian mindset through this various situation of uh, students and of course the, the mission I have for teaching on the different topic on political sciences, European affairs, increase my research. And so this is a, a virtual circle uh, from what I can get from MCC and what I can provide to MCC.